What's good, Eagles fans? This is your boy, Tone Deshaws II, and y'all are tuning to your dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to turn into the game. Like I always say, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And in addition, make sure you guys also check out the Chalk It Up merch shop. I got so many items on there that you guys will love. So please check the description down below for all the links to support the channel, because I will be eternally grateful for that, you guys. So let's get right to the content. Now, the Eagles have decided to bring back, or resign rather, uh, Hassan Ridgeway. Now, Hassan Ridgeway, um, he's a D-tackle, and he was with the team for the past couple years. Um, we acquired him originally from the Indianapolis Colts um, via trade, and he actually ended up being a pretty a pretty decent contributor when it mattered. Um, in 2019, you know, we, we suffered a lot of injuries um, on the D-line, and he came in, and he picked up two sacks and four quarterback hits and four tackles, four loss, you know, in the short time where he was replacing Timmy Jerrigan and um, Malik Jackson um, before he ended up landing on IR himself. And then a year later, he impaired in seven games uh, for us. And then he put up 11 tackles, two tackles for loss, uh, one quarterback hit in the set. But then he ended up getting injured again. But nonetheless, during his time there, during the time being plugged in and out, whenever there was injuries, he always was productive and he always somewhat maintained the continuity on the D-line. And the Eagles really like him a lot. Um, I don't have really too many bad things to say about Hassan Ridgeway, except for the fact that I would like for him to stay healthier. But they're bringing him back on a one-year deal, so there's not really much commitment to him. Um, they're not really giving up too much to bring him back. And just thinking about the Eagles' cap situation, thinking about the fact that they don't really have too much money to spend in free agency, it's best to bring back guys that are familiar with the system and guys that you can bring back that are affordable. Um, so, and on top of that, um, we're losing Malik Jackson as well. So, it's it's a smart move, and it prevents you from having to maybe, I don't want to say waste, but um, invest too much in the draft on the D-line because you still have um, Brandon Graham, Derek Barnett, Fletcher Cox, um, uh, Javon Hargrave, you know, guys like that. Um, Josh Sweat, can't forget Josh Sweat. Um, he's he's going to be a problem this year. But um, we did bring back Hassan Ridgeway, and ultimately that's a good move at the end of the day, um, an underrated move. And like I said, it's all about – bring guys in for the low um, and so we can still try to rebuild this roster properly because the defense needs a lot of work. The defense needs a lot of retooling. Um, and the best way to do that, most likely, is through the draft, drafting some high-quality talent and, you know, hitting on every single pick because we, we, can't, we can't really waste time too much this year. We really can't. But um, welcome back, Hassan Ridgeway. It's always a pleasure, my man. Hopefully you, you, uh, you, you do a great job for us. And like I said, the Eagles, they love doing that rotational D-line. They love doing that um, because in their eyes, and I understand it as well, in their eyes, when you when you rotate guys, you, you maintain that high that high motor on, on the D-line, which is something the Eagles have always predicated their defense off of. They predicated their defense off of the pass rush and then allowing the, and then, and then playing prevent defense. I never really liked that method. I've always liked my defense, you know, to play the ball, you know, be aggressive, um, it'd be even beyond the D-line. But, Nonetheless, Hassan Ridgeway is back. Um, that's a that's a decent move. I'm not I'm, I'm not up in arms about it. You know, I'm not supremely thrilled about it either. You know, it's a it's a solid move at the end of the day, and it's a um it's a safe move to say the least. But that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. As you already know, I'm so grateful for you guys. The content does not move without you guys. You guys are truly truly appreciated when it comes to this because um, I really love giving you guys this content and. You know, it's really near and dear to my heart, and I love the community that we're building. But that's all I have. I'm your humble host, Tony Shills the Second, and y'all have been tuned into your dose of Chalk It Up. Where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, and fly, it fly.